Hey everyone, a lot of people asking me how do you inject you know, sensitive information into Cypress test and you can use my utility called SA. Now SA can be used to insert all kinds of uh, environment variables just by having a local file either in your local folder or in your home profile folder called ASI. INI. And there you can have sections with settings you want to inject. So let me show you how to use it from Cypress. In my project, I have a spec and I want to have a user object, uh, something I can, for example, wrap and say should deep equal. And let's say I want to have username in that object. Maybe I want to say Joe. Now, where do I get that object? I want to get it from the environment settings. Now, Cypress tests run in the browser, so I can't just say, you know, process and, you know, user. Instead, I need to somehow read them from the environment variables when Cypress slows. And Cypress does this automatically for you. If you name your variable starting with Cypress, then all those variables will be read by Cypress and available inside Cypress env. And if it's a JSON object string, then they'll be parsed. So let's see how it works in action. So in my local folder, I'll create as a INI file and make sure to add it into your git ignore so it's not checked in. I'll give a section a name because you might want to inject different sections depending on how you run. So I'll name my section user and I'll give it a variable of environment Na variable name cypress user equals okay so uh i'll make it an object and i'll say username equals joe you know i can have spaces as long as it's a single line it's fine okay so let me save it and let me open cypress so i'm gonna install globally as a utility i can install it locally but then i'll have to use like npx as a or yarn as a Okay, now that I installed it, I call it and I give a section name in the file. And if I have multiple sections, for example, uh, I don't know, server, I, I can inject variables from multiple sections, but right now it's just one. And then the command that I want to run. So as a utility looks at the file, finds the section and injects and run variables into the command. And here's what we can do to make sure that our injection actually worked. Look at the settings tab at the project settings and then scroll to the environment object. And you can see that now we have an object called user and it actually pa parsed username Joe and so on. Let's add more fields. Let's say password and whatever one, two, three secret exclamation point. Maybe you want to have a number let's say age you know 42 maybe you want to have a boolean like valid uh, true and all those values will be parsed correctly automatically so as a injects with long string cypress looks at a variable name and says yeah we, you know i need to parse it and it will have this object in the cypress env object okay so in my spec Okay, what's happening there? It says that it's not the same. Well, because we expected just one field and our parsed object has all those fields. So we can, um, well, before we add the values, let's just make sure we see the entire objects, right? Notice now it serializes everything so we can clearly see the error. And then we can say, okay, the password is one, two, three, secret, and the age 42, and valid is true. Perfect. So this is how you would use as a utility to inject entire objects when you run Cypress test without, you know, hard coding them into the files.